Texting vulnerable, I'm exposed Too much words to say, don't overuse Try to leave the vibe, don't push too much Just respect yourself, say what you want Everything is possible here, Ropadope TV, 21 Soul, here at the Ropadope Room in East Philadelphia along the railroad tracks. I'm Fabian Brown here with definitely the unpredictable Mr. Lewis Marks. I love starting a show with an F bomb. <laughs> it's great, but seriously, folks. Fabian, I didn't tell you I was going to do this, but I'm here to talk to you tonight about the crisis at the southern border. <laughs> this is a very serious thing, folks. We need to do something about it. We should put up something like a turnstile to let people in. I don't know. To, like to count them as they come over? Yeah, just get a count, then we're good. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. Guarantee you my speech is better than the one we saw last night. But I, I have a question. And a lot shorter. Is, is the government open yet? Uh, the government is partially open. Partially open? Yeah, it's, it's, it's mostly shut down. Just a bunch of random things that don't seem important. You know, there's some people not getting paid. It's always a good situation. You know, <laughs> you know? Uh, apparently like volunteers are cleaning up nat national parks. Because the government's closed, but apparently the national parks are still open. Okay. Which, by the way, one of the national parks happens to be the, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, the Trump Hotel down in uh, Washington, D.C. And they have that National Park Service actually works in the building. Or, I don't know, there's like a tree at the top or something. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. But they're working. They're still employed. So did you know that? I, I did not. I, yeah. I, I did not know that. What do we come in here with? This is like something that I was completely taken by surprise when I heard it earlier today. What's this? So, here? I met Steph Tom, okay, who goes by Crown, or she is Crown, if you're looking for her on social media. Um, I met her at a Louis Cato show. Nice. At the, uh, the new New Blue. In New York City a couple of years ago and I think we had we had talked to each other uh, beforehand because she works closely with Layla Hathaway Wow right and so you know Layla Hathaway rope it up uh, release uh, snarky puppy family dinner uh, Grammy uh, award for uh, best R&B performance so um, Steph's an artist in her own right and she's got a very interesting very interesting style, really unique. Obviously, her voice is just uh, killer, buttery. Yes, uh, buttery, syrupy. Like, yes, like pancakes. Um, but she's got a lot to say, and this is a track from uh, a song, uh, an album that she put out. I don't know if you call it album or EP? I mean, it's five songs, I guess, five or six songs, um, in anticipation of her upcoming Rope It Oak release. So we're going to be uh, revisiting this record. Okay. Um, possibly re-releasing it and, and talking about uh, all the, not only just the information that she wants to bring to the world, but also her particular style, which I, I think is really, it's funny how you can, you know, you think you've heard it all at some point, and then you're like, that's a really interesting way to bring electronics, uh, R&B soul together. Yeah, the production you know, is dope. So. Digging All right, it. let's get it. Thank you. 
syrup continues. I want to be like RC when I grow up, but I'm pretty sure I'm older than RC, so I just want to be like RC. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, RC Williams, Dallas, Texas. He's, the, you know, RC and the Grits. Track so from, smooth. Uh, an upcoming release yep. titled Analog World. Analog World is coming out on March 8th of 2019. Grab your pre order on the 25th of January. Um, we spent quite a quite a, a lot of time with RC over the past several months, bringing them up here for our 21 Soul Sessions. Kicking uh, off the 21 Soul Sessions, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this release coming together and, and, and coming out. Um, you know, but it, I, I noticed in the bio, it, it all starts at that Booker T. Washington school, man. What is the deal? Booker T. Washington High School. I mean, I know a little bit. Um, I do have some, uh, some archival audio where... I talked with um, a fellow that I met down at the RSVP Records first uh, Christmas party. Okay. Um, name is escaping me at the moment. Jason Davis. Okay. And then Jason Davis brought on the line uh, an older cat from Dallas, an older musician uh, who had experience with the high school and he, he taught me the history man like taking it all the way back to Booker T. Washington and his daughter his wife and just how the whole thing developed but you know it's just the creation of a magnet school and funneling not just money but just like structure and community involvement into music in, in, in a magnet school in Dallas, Texas and uh, yeah I think most of these cats were there I don't, I don't know if Spud was there but um, quite a few were at uh, Booker T. Washington High School, and RC was there. Yeah, RC was well. there. That's what that's what the bio says. Obviously, you got to start God's property. You know, the real is crazy. Erica Badu, Snoop Dogg, Prince, Jill Scott, Queen Latifah, The Roots, Bootsy Collins, Pharrell, Most F, Common, uh, Talib Kweli, Dead Prez. I mean, look, it's just it's just, we just crazy. Just that to everybody. Everybody. Yeah, everybody yeah. who you would want to listen to. But there's a thread there actually, and that, that's what's interesting when you when you list a lot of names, and we have the same thing happening with Anu's son, yep. uh, whose record is coming out. So you're like, when you read a list of 20 names that somebody uh, has played with, and then and you can see the connection musically. It's probably that guy. <laughs> you know? Right, right. Terrace is like that, right? It's right. just like, oh, this guy sounds like this guy sounds... Ah, I get it. I get it. I want to say this track features Ndombi, um, who was also on, uh, who was on the Family Dinner Volume 1 record with the song Deep. Um, and I had, I met her in L.A., the night uh, that I met Terrace Martin as well. So it's a yeah, big night, it man. A, it was <laughs> a big night. It was a big night. I had flown into LA and just sort of posted on uh, Facebook and said, you know, I'm going to be at the Blue Whale tonight. Is anybody around? And it turns out and Dombey was there and, and Ethan Farmer was there and Sput was there and Ambrose was there and uh, um, you said Terrace was there too? Terrace, t- well, ter- 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 Terrace we ran into on a side street. On the, on the way out of there but yeah <laughs> yeah I'm trying to think um, the cat that uh, I'm trying to think of who was on drums Miguel Atwood Ferguson had done had done a show and then I think Ndombi was either part of that or she was doing a thing after but so it, it, was, it was really it was something it's incredible so. incredible grab that album like I said the pre-order January 25th March 8th is when it comes out and speaking of the Blue Whale in Los Angeles, this is an L.A. resident with a, a stunning new record, Dreamy.
Josh school me. So which which saxophone is that coming in? <laughs> That's Josh Johnson okay. on the alto, on the small one. I got it. I, I kind of got it in there for a minute. I was like, wait, that's not that. that it's not. I don't know if it's a tenor sax or not, but I know it's the, it's the, it's the smaller one. It's a higher one. So right. Go there. Right. That's right. that's it. that's yeah. it. That's um. Yeah. That's our man. That's our friend Mark the Clive Lowe <laughs> with his album Heritage, set for release on February eighth of two thousand and nineteen. You can actually grab your pre order today. It's available everywhere. Um, but there are two records, so yep. we're not sure when this is going to air. So. Um, Record one may already be out by that time, but mm-hmm. then there's a second part. Yep. We, we're not allowed to play anything for the second part yet, but this is the closing track uh, from Heritage, uh, not Heritage 2. And how would you pronounce that? I will pronounce that Asa no Yume. I might be way off. Um, you know what's really... translate to morning translate to morning, morning dreams, dreams. Uh, as, as so Google tells yeah me. Mark Mark was uh, kind enough to kind of break down track by track and give a little narrative on what each track meant to him uh, you know in the order of, of the sequence of the songs and I'm just gonna read this you know verbatim Please, so I don't, yeah, so I don't yeah. mess up so as you alluded, let me let me set the stage first though. Sure. so the entire album which is two two parts is all about Japan it's Mark's tribute his uh, mother is Japanese yep. and he spent time there as a young as a young child and a teenager um, and has really done a, a, a beautiful uh, sort of ode to Japan so please. I love it so uh, like you said the translation morning dreams in English this felt like the perfect way to bookend the album's story that golden time when you're not asleep but you're not quite awake. It's a brand new day and the world is full of infinite possibilities. That's what this entire musical journey is about for me, for Mark. Mm -hmm. Finding the spaces where I'm in balance with myself and the world around me to be able to make the most of all the magic that the new day brings. All right, that's a wrap. Yeah. We can't, nothing we say can be better than that. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I used to have mornings like that. (laughs) <laughs> and then what happened? I no. got old. <laughs> My goodness, I love it. Now I strive for them. Now I'm, I'm totally joking. I go. I get up in the morning. I go out for a walk. Sometimes I have that moment when I wake up in between. But I always try to be up at dawn. Used to get up at dawn and just paddle out in the ocean wow. right pre-dawn, like and wait for the sun to come up, and like that really got me back in tune. It's just. As busy as I am, it's a little harder to get back in tune. But now, either paddling out in the water, getting that space, or, you know, a nice walk and clear my head. Wow. My but dawn is, uh, pre-dawn is a beautiful space. I've been a million places All but one For me to be Lewis. Mm. Just takes you away, huh? It does. Vivian Sessoms. Uh, that's her second release out here with, with Rope Dope. Uh, Life 2? Yeah, again, another another uh, two-part album. You know, if it, maybe we're going to be the uh, the place for the multiple-part albums with Christian <laughs> Scott and, and Mark DeClivo and Vivian Sessoms. But I, I love that concept because it gives you something, you know, it's a story that unfolds and it gives you something to anticipate and you, 
you know, hear part one and part two. So I love it. This is life two. Yeah, that's set for for the spring of 2019. So stay tuned for that. You know, look out for the pre-order. Um, you know, what can we say about Vivian that hasn't already been said, man? You know, um, I, I believe if you dig into, here's what I'll say. When I dug into the album, what I found was not only, you know, beautiful melodies supported by a great instrumentation, but the message that she's sharing, you can tell that there's a lot of things that are really heavy on her on her heart and on her mind, mm-hmm. and she conveys it with, with I mean, finesse, with excellence, and uh, I'm just glad to be you know, a part of this whole process. It's amazing. Yeah, she's not just doing that jazz singer thing and like emulating someone else's story. Mm-hmm. She is doing her story in that particular style, uh, among many others on the album. Uh, this is interesting. I mean, this song, this track features uh, Gregoire Marais, uh, but I want to, want to track this over because I'm looking at the, this. <laughs> Yeah, so this song is written by Casey Benjamin. Casey Benjamin. Strangely enough, uh, <laughs> who, who is, you know, rope dope OG. He's on the first rope dope record. He is rope dope OG. Mm-hmm. Saxophonist, mm-hmm. writer, arranger, flautist. What, what, what style of saxophone does he play? Uh, the best style. <laughs> I don't know, you know what I mean, like... Uh, what do you mean, like what, alto which, or tenor? Which one, yeah. Alto. Okay. Alto. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, Casey. <laughs> Keyboardist. I mean, he's he's a he's an I mean, artist. That's the thing man. with the piano. It's like you play the piano. Yeah, yeah. I'm so K- Casey Benjamin wrote this song. That's what it says in there. Wow. In the I, metadata. I'm, yeah. I'm just. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised. Vivian Sessoms. That album's coming out here uh, in the spring of 2019. Should we go back to the border? <laughs> what, do, what, do you, <laughs> what does that mean, Lewis? He's like, no. Can we, we talk about the border wall again? No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just, you know, trying to spice it up a little bit. It's just, on my mind. Just make it. It's on my mind. Who else is on this record? On this I'll, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. There's a, there's some, there's a Stevie Wonder track on here. Um, Chris Parks. Um, there's a Cole Porter song on this. There's a song by uh, The Fix on here, a cover. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, it, quite, quite, a, quite a cast, right? Shedrick Mitchell, uh, Adam Jackson. Uh, Here's what I'm excited about. Yeah. When, when the single's released from this album, it's going to... It's going to shut everything down. Yep. Yeah. I, it's really one of the best songs I, I've ever heard. It gives me chills. Can't tell you what it is yet, though. <laughs> we'll get there. Ooh. I love that there are um, such different musicians Mm -hmm. that bring records to Rope Dope, different releases, and you can always piece together a show where there's a common thread, commonality. Um, I think in this case, every song that we've played tonight is a a sort of a solemn but grooving. Yep expression of a person's like sort of inner inner vibe like very very real this is Michael Whalen let's talk about well, first of all everybody just calm down 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> What an awesome person. So, Michael Whelan is an awesome, awesome guy. Great personality. I think he's a comedian at heart. He is definitely a comedian at heart. Well, he's been a comedian. Yeah. He's done it. He's, <laughs> he's done, done it. stand-up. He's yeah. done it. So yeah. He when knows I, how to make fun of people and have it be funny. That's, he did it to me last week. Yeah, yeah. He sure did do it to you last week. Mm-hmm. That's that's the Quinn, the Quinn joke. Yeah. He <laughs> said, he said, my, he said I saw your fiancé online and... Uh, Wow, she's really pretty. She's way prettier than I thought <laughs> she would be. And I'm like, wow, thanks a lot. And I'm like, wait a minute. Dude. Uh, you know. And his delivery. He's excitable. He's yeah. passionate. He's going. He's just like, what he's, it, he's a mover and a shaker. His track record is just silly. It's absolutely stupid. I, I had a Wikipedia of Mike Whalen because I, I just felt that I wasn't I wasn't on top of it. I mean, here we go. Obviously, composer, 650 television and film scores, and thousands of advertising jingles. 650? 650. Wow. He's a monster. He's yep. a he's an absolute monster. He doesn't stop. Won two Emmy Awards. Listen, audiobooks. He's First <laughs> Emmy Award winner to be in this mix, I want to say. Which is interesting now that we're going and doing video and getting into these things. Yeah. Nice to know an Emmy Award. And on top of wealth of information, man, he is, uh, he's a smart, intelligent guy and obviously knows how to play his ass off and write some great music. You guys are going to love, I, I won't, I won't, I won't say that you'll love it. I love the album. I, I have the one track that's stuck in my mind all day, every Don't day. Don't even start. <laughs> Don't even start. Earworm, Michael. Just saying, earworm alert. I'm just going to, I'm going to. Who's on the record? Who's on this record? It's, it's crazy. Here we go. I had I had to go into the into the metadata because uh, well that's what I have to do here so I just want to point out I mean I I, I can do it right now so Bob Magnuson on saxophone which one uh, he's on alto and tenor I believe alto and tenor I'm learning the big one and the little one Mr Michael League on bass yep uh, Vinny Vinny Colaiuta on drums I mean. That that's a band, right? And that lays a base for Michael to just go wherever he wants with the keys and fully express himself. You know, this I want to warn everybody though. So this track um, called "Blues for You" it's kind of this long, extended, introspective, a little bit moody kind of vibe. You'll hear him kind of like riffing, riffing a bit, but. It's not typical of the entire album. No. There's a lot of energy on this thing, a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Check. Well, I mean, that's that's our time, Lewis. That's our time. Really? I don't want to go yet. <laughs> I don't want to talk to people about the crisis at the southern border. Oh, goodness. Ropadope TV, 21 Soul, East Philadelphia, here live at the Ropadope Room. Uh, until next time, Mr. Marks, I'll give you one of these guys. Oh, we're doing doubles. The double doink. <laughs> <laughs> double doink.